again. Okay, so we got the power supply hooked up, uh, booted it, and started reading the quick start guide, I know, RTFM. Um, and notice a few more other things uh, afterwards. So first of all, this looks like a custom uh, battery, uh, which is great, you know, it fits right in there. It's a nice big uh, LiPo battery. Um, here's the MPCIe slot, here's the WAN slot. Looks like there's a, a, um, a SIM card slot there. Here's where you put the MSATA hard drive. Uh, without a hard drive, it boots off of the SD card. Um, so, plugged this, this guy in and then turned on the power switch, which is right here, and it immediately booted up uh, and gave me a login prompt. Um, as the manual says, there's no uh, default password, so login as root. And we were presented with a screen that says, uh, hi, crowd supply. To start the desktop, execute X init. To change the screen brightness, use uh, brightness control S, you know, between number between zero and seven. So we'll hit it seven. So there it's a lot brighter. Um, and uh, then we will go into X init. Of course, this is just Debian, um, so it should look pretty familiar to a lot of people. Uh, one of the nice things about the keyboard is that caps lock has been uh, relegated to the dustbin of history, hopefully. I'm not sure if it's on here, actually, but what's usually caps lock is, of course, the control key. Um, so here we are, and the, the trackball just takes me back, uh, works really well. Um, let's actually, now we're not hooked up to the network, so I can't really do too much that's interesting, um, but we'll get that sorted out next. Uh, here's Emacs, for example, that was a pretty quick load. Um, and then also on the underside, you know, looking at the processor, you can see that it's a system on module, kind of, it's sold as a, a single module, right? It's, it's a, an IMX6. Um, processor and so uh, all of the all the conditioning and, and peripherals that you you absolutely need to run that processor is right there on this board um, so you could in theory even swap out this piece um, and upgrade it potentially although I'm not sure what how it's connected exactly um, but uh, you could also swap out this entire board here so if you just like the the connectors and whatnot and the and the chassis you could put in your own um, your own uh, main board. This guy here is of course the trackball. So you can kind of see it's, it's a 3D printed uh, holder for the ball itself. So the ball is, you know, it's pretty good size and it, it goes all the way down. Um, it's probably, ha I don't know, two thirds the size of a ping pong ball, uh, kind of like a big marble. Um, there are mount points here for a camera. I think one of these two headers is, is a camera header, uh, but there's nothing populated there. Um, and then you can kind of fi follow the wiring. It's not that complicated uh, uh, to see you know, the battery connection and the power switch here. Um, this, of course, is the input and then battery here. And that's pretty much it. You know, and then there's some, uh, some cabling from the trackpad and there's somewhere there's probably cabling from the keyboard to the to the main board. Maybe that's underneath the main board. Um, so, you know, quick boot time, responsive uh, uh, desktop. Haven't really put it through the paces yet, but it you know actually loads pretty quickly. Um, that's so cool. Here's a, a reform. Oh, it comes with all of the source files, of course. Uh, so if you really wanted to know about this part, for example, this is a library, I guess. Um, let's see here, what, what's something that's a little bit more accessible? Uh, reform keyboard engravings, let's see what this is. These are SVGs, let's, I don't know what to open this with, graphics maybe? 
document viewer. I wonder if it just has a DOG. Let's try this the old fashioned way. Okay. Um, so, reform. Oh, my favorite aliases aren't there yet. Uh, and we'll track. So, oh, let's go to the spreadsheets. That's really where the action is. Um, so, production status, motherboard bomb, and fetch.shell. I don't know what that is. Let's see what that is. So this is, looks like, oh, if you want to update the spreadsheets, you just fetch them from Google Docs. Okay, using wget. Um, and the current, let's see what, do they have LibreOffice installed? Maybe not. Uh, let's just Emacs production status. So if you're really great at reading comma separated value files, then this should be obvious what this is. But if you're not, uh, yeah, here's, here's the header. There's basically a listing of all the parts and the statuses. So this looks like it's from uh, so June sometime. Hard to say. Um, but very cool that they included all of this um, in pre-install. Uh, let's see here. Now the battery is actually not connected apparently. Or maybe it is on this one. It looks, looks like it is. Looks like this is connected now. I don't think there's anything we have to do. So this thing should be charging now. But I think um, by default it will not be connected and you'll have to unscrew this and uh, Connect it and then um, and then put the lid back on. Uh, so we'll do we'll take the, the lid off um, in another video and actually maybe take this apart and see what's underneath all these boards and and try adding some boards to these these slots here uh, and see how that goes. Um, anyway, I'm very excited about this. This is uh, like I said another great addition to the uh, lineup of open source laptops and we can't wait for this to launch. Uh, I know my next laptop.